Hey, welcome to Soul Tape episode 24. I'm your host, Richard, and today we have with us Lunar Riptide. <laughs> if you guys could please go around and introduce yourselves. We'll start off with uh, you over here, sir. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Brian, and I play bass. Hey, I'm Riley. I play rhythm guitar and some back backup vocals. I'm Sophia. I sing. I'm Cole. I play the airphone and synths and sing. Uh, I'm Derek. Uh, I play lead guitar. Hey, what's up? I'm Ramon. I play drums. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. And my apologies. Usually I'm four hours early, but today I was like four minutes late. And we were rushing to get everything set up. So thank you guys for your patience. Course, I appreciate it so much. Um, so uh, why don't we start off with learning how you guys formed? How did you guys become a band? Um, I, I would say that it started out in high school with me and this guy right here. We were in choir together, and uh, Sophia was in the choir program too, but she she wasn't jamming with us quite yet. But we started writing some music together, and we're like, okay, like we kind of really have something here, but we need like a like a full band. So we're like, who do we know that could play? And I'm like, oh, I played in this metal band with this one guy. Uh, he might be down, so I hit him up, and that was uh, that was Riley over here, oh, and he's been with us ever since. So okay. it's been basically us three up until uh, Wait, I would you, say you three, you uh, uh, Cole, oh. myself, and Riley Cole, up until oh, okay, about okay. like what 2018. It was like uh, 2019. Yeah, 2019 ish. Okay. And then uh, and we brought in Brian because him and I worked together. Okay. And then we also brought in Ramon around that same time because Derek and we him worked, worked together. together. Yeah. Uh, Me and Derek worked. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. All okay. those little connections just kind of. Yeah. yeah. And then it was <laughs> us five for a cool minute, even up on like our recorded stuff. Yeah. And then we brought along Sophia just because we thought it completed the whole picture. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are wise for uh, having so many band members. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like uh, listening to you guys, uh, listening to you guys on the way here. Uh, yeah. You guys are a very full band. Um Let's just mention today too that they're the biggest band we've had on Soul Tape. Six members. We got two guitar players, bass player, um, aerophone player, a drummer, and a singer. And yeah, like you guys are a huge ass band. I, I swear to God, I thought it was five. I don't know why I thought it was five, but when you told me six, I was like, holy shit, we had to like Mickey Mouse some like headphone stuff. Um, Sophia six. brought an extra set of headphones. If not, this whole thing operation would have just been out of whack. Um, damn. So, and I. I um, was listening to some a lot of your music, and I noticed there's only one song out there with Sophia singing yeah. the lead, right? Yeah. And so who was uh, leading the vocals before? So you were yeah. doing... Oh. It was me. I was singing for a little while before kind of going more into, like, synths and, uh, like, sax, aerophone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of just, like, dealt with some anxiety and wanted to take a little bit of a step back, but I yeah. like, really still wanted to be involved. So mm -hmm. getting Sophia involved to kind of be the the front man yeah. really helped. And she added a really great, like, sound to us as well. Yeah, I, I think that was a wise decision on your end. Um, you know, and being honest about that with the rest of your band, maybe saying, I don't know if you told them that, that exactly, but, but, you know, like you said, your anxiety. Yeah. And being able to take a step back, like, it's not, I mean, it's especially like in um, such an artistic endeavor, you want to be comfortable um you want to make sure you're in a space where you're able to cre create the way you want to create because that's what art is all, all about right absolutely um so kudos to you for that uh and i uh but you write a lot of the music right yeah right i like, i still enjoy writing and i still do write like it's kind of become a lot more collaborative between yeah, like for sure. sophia and i and with derek and riley as well but um yeah, we it's it kind of just all of us now rather than just me writing a lot of lyrics. You you do um listening to your stuff uh, that Sophia wasn't singing on. I mean, because that's all that was out there. That's all I could find. Uh, but like I was like, oh, this guy knows how to write music, knows how to write songs, knows how to write like l l lyrics, like use vocals, melody runs, all of that. But I I can hear your like um your anxiety. Even yeah. through the <laughs> records, I was like, oh, but like, and then I hear her and then the song with her on it. And I'm like, holy shit. Like you just like switch the voice and she has like, a, not, not no offense at all, mm -hmm. but like, obviously she just like fell right in, oh, you know? And I feel yeah. like I can hear like, oh damn, like he's probably like helping her like sing this part, this part, this way. Like, like she's like essentially, let me slow down. She's, um, 
like you have a way that you hear it and i feel like she helps you get that out yeah does that make sense um, is that was that what's going on yeah, I, she, I could wrote, like she wrote that one yeah um but a lot of the stuff that she sings live like that i sang in the past she's put her own like spin into it yeah and made it kind of almost how i envisioned it but i didn't that's what like i wanted to say to okay yeah. thank you for putting that yeah of course of course yeah yeah that's what i was trying to say because like i i um yeah and i know that you guys play live shows now and mm. she's in the band now so i was thinking like well she probably does all, singing all the little songs and all oh, like man i can only imagine how she would sound on this you know what i mean um because you have such a grand voice it's huge uh it reminds me of um damn like oh, fuck i'm so bad at this man i need to like write these things down but there's this like singer uh, it's on the morissette or something like that Linus morissette yeah you kind of have love her yeah <laughs> i knew it i knew it i'm Thank good at you. that i'm good at <laughs> figuring out like oh you i think he's like that person right or like you're influenced by that person because yeah i hear it i hear it, i hear it in your voice in in your uh for lack of a better word i'm really bad at this i'm so, i had a long day guys i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's why i was late you know um but uh yeah i hear like the accent i guess you can say or okay, yeah, um yeah, yeah. yeah i i'm totally. like oh that sounds kind of like that <laughs> um but yeah, uh, I'm, I can't wait to hear more of it today. So whenever you guys are ready, let's uh, listen to some of your music.
Happy birthday, Max. Hi, Kevin. Happy birthday, All right. Max. Ma- Max is going to see this one, guys. Happy birthday, so. Max. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Max. Happy birthday, Max. <laughs> From your we friends at Soul Tape. Yeah. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Happy birthday, Max. Happy birthday. To I'm not a singer. <laughs> not as good as Sophia. You, you you killed it. You guys, thank you so much for coming here, playing your music. I really appreciate this. I, I feel like um I hacked uh I, 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 I got like a life hack. Like how can I go see live music without having to deal with strangers and <laughs> spending money on beer actually no i still spend money on beer <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and uh parking and all that bullshit I, I just bring the bands here and i'm so happy yeah. that amazing bands like you guys apply to be on the show and get on the show and i'm always like oh fuck who applied oh fuck like you know you guys are one of those bands um i i, I think i followed you guys back like as soon as you guys followed me i was like oh fuck yeah like these guys are I'm following them. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you. You guys are great musicians. Uh, you guys are uh, friends with like a lot of the bands we've had on here, I think, right? Yeah, Integral yeah. Pink, who else? Uh, the Fame. The Fame. Hello Bloom. Hello Bloom. Hello Bloom. Hello Bloom. Yeah, all sh- Goodbye yeah. Bloom. Uh, R.I.P. They, they were great. They were great. I got that joke from... Um, <laughs> From fucking Tommy from Weatherby. Oh. Yeah, he, he commented. He's like, I refuse to accept Goodbye Bloom into the scene no. or something like that. No. <laughs> He's right, yeah. though. Dude, yeah. that guy is so... Shout out Joey. Shout out Joey. Shout out Joey. Yeah. I think I mentioned him every episode. I'm going to have him as a special guest on, dude. That guy is so <laughs> quick, dude. I love that guy, dude. Um, But yeah, uh, I want to talk about that scene, like the IE scene. Um, yeah. It's like huge, and I, I've said it over and over on this show, like that scene, is, it's popping right now. Like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I think, like, I want to say, what, what is episode 24? I want to say, like, 10 bands from the IE have been on here or wow. something like that. Yeah, so, wow. you know, you guys are killing it. And, you know, I'm not biased to, like, location. I was really happy when we had uh, the Vlasic song because they're, like, from my area. Dude, I noticed yeah. even a little bit of their accent was kind of similar to mine. <laughs> and I was like, damn, tight, you know? <laughs> like, underrepresented, you know? But, um, <laughs> but no, but, like, uh, the IE, like, it's, it's, really, it's really going down over there. Have you guys noticed that, too? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Which is For funny because sure. we're all mainly from the OC. Yeah. They've the just OC welcomed us with... Uh, Ah, yeah, they are. I'm, the, I'm the only one from the IE. Yeah, so oh, well, we claim <laughs> you guys get a pass then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. you guys got one guy in there. Exactly. Um, and uh, so from the OC, you guys are all from the OC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Orange County. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what part specifically? Like Disneyland area or something? Or what? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so uh, we're all originally from Huntington. Yeah, so like us four. Us four oh, and then he's from Santa Ana. Santa, Santa, and then that's Santa where our Ana. studio is now. So Santa Ana is like our home right now. Yeah. HQ. Okay. And then IE will part. Corona. Corona, damn. Oh yeah, I think um from the Faye, Kalos from yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the funny <gasps> part. Base. There's three people. I may, maybe one or two people in that band. Yeah, live in the same zip code. No yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird, dude. All yeah, the, apparently the 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 drummer and the bass player had a brother or something. Yeah. that they knew. Oh yeah, the, they're they're the ones actually. We live in the same zip code. It's, oh, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that's crazy. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna go through some of these questions I got. I already asked how you guys are performed. Talked about your performance. I love you guys' performance. Um, let me talk about it again because it's that's how good that shit was, dude. Like, I don't think um, like I know like it's it's tough, right? Because I only I, I give like most bands. I say most bands because we've had bands play like seven songs on here, five songs the last one, right? They played one, um, Coca played one. Is it Coca? Yeah, I think Coca played one at the end. Um, but um, they like I I, I feel like you guys is like four songs set. Like, you guys thought about it? Or, like, you guys put a lot of effort into how it was going to sound? Did you guys do that, or am I wrong? Totally. Yeah. Or are you guys just f- like saying that, that now? Just no, no, no. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's super also, deliberate. Yeah, the last song is new. It's not even recorded or anything. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so exclusive. We were like, yeah. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> dude, we get a lot of ST exclusives on here, dude. Um, <laughs> That's so fucking sick, man. I'm I'm always happy, like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, they got to they gotta find it through us. But I also yeah. feel bad because that's the only way they find it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, all right. That you, I think it was your third song. I want to say uh, it sounded a lot like a uh, Jamiroquai or something. Oh yeah, like, heart full uh, of nicotine. nicotine. Yeah. 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 Oh, dude. Oh, all right. that that was that song. Cause yeah. all right, so I was listening to that one on the way, and I was like, man, I hope to play this fucking song. Dude. <laughs> I love that song. That's a favorite. That's our yeah. damn song. Yeah. Yeah. I know Jesse's yeah. over here. You got him reaching for the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> damn dude that fucking that song is a great song. But yeah, it gives me a lot of Jamiroquai vibes, bro. Like it. The way um, the chord changes, yeah. the progression it makes, like, oh, man, it's so refreshing. But, again, you guys just said, like, it went from, like, like 
it's, it started off slow, not in a bad way. Like, slow is great. I love it. Um, and I appreciate that it started off slow because it started off slow and then it gets, like, heavier, bigger, louder, cooler. Like, um, yeah, can you guys tell me about your thought process coming up with that four-song set? Yeah, I think for the first song we did was Price Park, which is our latest release single. Uh, that was the first song I had written with the band. It was kind of one of the first demos Derek had sent me. And I was like, I want to impress these guys. And so I was like, <laughs> I'm going to write this song. Song of the summer. And then I wrote it. And then it's just about like, I don't know, just like good vibes and being stoked to take on a new chapter. So I think mm. that's a great way to like start our sets most of the time. Yeah. Um, Sit the tone. And then f- for next was Hello, which is our other latest release single. And that one's really fun. Um, Cole, not Aerophone. I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, oh, yeah. Kills Killed the it. show, man. For <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, for real. no, for real. And then Heartful of Nicotine. That's kind of our favorite song to play. I mean, yeah. also so our much oldest. Our mm-hmm. oldest song uh, for. We take so much liberty with it. Like, it sounds different every time we play it, which yeah. I think is the coolest part. Um, and then Redfish, Bluefish is that last one. Yeah. And we think that we're really excited about that one. So yeah. we thought that'd be a cool way to end it. I I uh I could I could I'll be honest I could tell that was like a newer song like that mm-hmm. you guys because that third one like you guys just played it so well, um I had a hard time um I I again I know because she's like the lead singer now mm-hmm. and I I heard you sing it when on the record so yeah. I had a hard time identifying which song was which but um I was like damn that one I think that's that one because I heard the melody and I was like oh yeah like this this is great um I can't. I really like that song. I really, I, I swear to God, I'm gonna pick up smoking again. <laughs> that song is great, dude. That song is great, um, dude. Uh, yeah. So, um, your writing process now. Uh, how? What's that look like when you guys are like? I, I know you know most bands nope. are like, yo, I got a riff, check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go from there. Is that is that something? I, I would say like to? it usually starts with like a pre-pro track, either like I'll make or Cole will make or mm-hmm. we'll make together, and then. Usually Cole and Sophia will sit down and kind of get a theme, and then I'll sit down with with Brian and Riley. And we'll all like shelve out. Like I'll have like a bass idea for maybe a guitar part. Yeah. But like it won't really sound as full as like I'd like it to be without like going through these guys. Yeah. So like we'll like kind of collaborate on what it'll be, and then I'm usually, usually the last yeah, one to touch the song. But yeah. he'll like edit it in a big way too. So like if we if a song's like really really long and it, it could really like this it'd be cool halftime here like. That's yeah. the really big proponent that so he adds to it. So I he heard really that. Like, I heard that halftime in that, yeah. in that track, and I was like, "Holy shit, bro!" Because <laughs> I thought the song was over. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, it's halftime." And then honestly, I, I'm a I'm an amateur drummer myself, and I like uh, I play in this band called Mundos. Uh, what is it? Shameless shout out. Maybe. But um, <laughs> they uh, so like well, we we improv. Like yeah. we don't yeah, have yeah. any like songs or anything. Mm-hmm. So and that's one thing I do to like kind of trick people to think it's like a written song. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'll just go halftime. And I heard you do it, and I was like, fuck yeah, bro! Yeah, that's the the best. Best. I must be getting better. I recognize <laughs> it. Go, <laughs> Hell yeah, go. that shit was tight, dude. Um, but yeah, so uh, and uh, that's strange. You guys add the drums last. Yeah, that's yeah. that's so strange. Um, cause I, I could like, uh, man, when I demo tracks or when I hear other people demoing tracks, like they usually already have a, a kind of idea of how they want the drums and for you to come in last, like, so what do you guys play with? Well, when, I mean, he usually like starts with a loop. That's what yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. A loop or something like oh, that. Okay. Like, okay. Then okay. I'll just sit on there and it'll give like yeah. you know, a yeah. general idea, but yeah. he really, for it. He really change changes it, it yeah. up a lot it, it when he puts his part doesn't on. end up as yeah. whatever he puts Obviously, that's what you guys yeah. did. Yeah. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, I was no, like, no, no drum at all. Like, nah. Um, but yeah, and then I can tell like when you, you, you know, you get a, you get a bass player going there and then he's just going to like turn it around and add some new flavor to it. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. I thought this was Chinese food. It turned out it's Italian. Like, yeah, that's tight. Um, Dude, let's talk about your guys' gear. Um, you know, a lot of instruments here today, yeah. uh, including your voice. Like, but uh, fuck, man. Like, um, I I seen some really nice stuff. So I'm, I really like your bass, bro. Um, Brian, right? Yeah, why? Yeah, this guy, Brian. <laughs> Dude, that's a, a, a pretty sweet bass. Can you talk about it? What, what is that? I know it's a. F- it is a, a 1997. <laughs> sorry, 1997 made in Mexico a Fender Jazz bass. Oh. I picked it up during a uh, quarantine, actually. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, time for a new gear. It's um, got some gold hardware in there, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, my boy Derek over here, he helped me pick it out. Um, we got everything. 
uh, we're talking to our friend uh, Jesus Vintage Gear. He's the best. Know. We go to him for Jesus Vintage everything. Gear. Yeah. 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 Where's he located? He's in Huntington Beach. He's in. He's in Orange. Okay. He's orange. in Orange. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Shout out. Right. He, like we, everything on stage, mm-hmm. all guitars, pedal boards, like all uh, go through him. Man, he's the goat. Damn. Even the arrow. Uh, I actually haven't gotten a chance to, but I do have stuff that I need to bring to him and oh, like, be like, hey, yeah. not necessarily. He, he knows all about to say. He's like, dude, if like he fucks with that stuff, too. I know oh. he does piano stuff. Oh, he does like vintage synths that are like oh. it's like an inner work. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Okay, but so he's, he's like, like soldering and all that. Personal guitars, I want to oh, tune yeah. up and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I gotta talk to this guy, dude. For real, for real. I, um, yeah. actually, you got um, you guys. Uh, sorry, guys, this is my window to the world. You know, every now and then I talk to people that don't know me or I don't know. Um, leave it in the comments if you like know someone that you think would be great to be on the show I'm looking for like a special guest co-host or something like someone that kind of knows more about these things than I do because I'm an idiot and <laughs> I try my best but like you know I forget the names of famous people and things like that uh, my mind's wrapped up about this whole show and getting the cameras and everything together so it would be nice to you know let me know um, but anyway that guy what was his name? I'm not uh, saying he should be on the show, but I'm just saying. Jesus Vintage Gear. Jesus Vintage Gear. Jesus Vintage Gear. Jesus on, uh, Vintage. In- Making miracles, huh? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, literally. Facts. Real. Uh, yeah, all right. And then, so, and you don't, you're going straight into the amp. You're not, no pedal, no pedal board or anything for you, huh? No, not today, unfortunately. Tones unfortunately, in the cable. We're working on it, though. Oh, ri- wait. Oh, so you're, you're building a pedal board right Currently, now? Currently, yeah. Again, my boy Derek over here, he helped me map yeah. one out. So yeah, okay. Part's coming in soon, so we should. Uh, it's going to be yeah. sick. It's, it's going to be really sick, cool. Exactly. What kind of amp do you usually work with? Uh, right now, I have a uh, Bulgara. Bulgara? Yeah. Uh, mm. Bulgara, my bad. I don't think uh, I've heard of that one. I'll put a picture of it right here. No, it's cool. I got it on Sweetwater. Shout out them. Pretty yeah. Cool. Where did you get the bass from? Uh, a pawn shop. Uh, I I like, oh, Compton, yeah. I think. Damn, I didn't go bro. Through, like, five gates that thing's hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Right? laughs> it's got like someone's initials etched on the back of it, huh? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, this Ibanez, bro. Uh, yeah. It's pretty sweet, man. I, I, I like the Mac uh, finish on it. I saw it in Sam Ash. Rest in peace, Sam Ash. Rest Ooh, in peace. Oh, oh, R.I.P. Um, we don't talk about them here anymore, bro. I've been joking. going to Sam Ash for as long as I've played music. And yeah, yeah. I took my girlfriend in just to buy, like, strings or something simple. And uh-huh. she found it on the wall and was like, you don't have a credit card? Go get a credit card to oh, get this damn. guitar. <laughs> oh, that's tough, bro. You went into debt. <laughs> for real. For real. Yeah. yeah. A whole whopping $400. For real. Oh, <laughs> True American. But, no, I, uh, this thing died. Um, a little while ago and so I had to replace the pickups and all the electrical and I what? took it to uh, Jesus Vintage Gear yeah. and he, he hooked it up it's the my favorite well, how did it die? I don't know I really don't know like what it happened just, like, it was like, like warped in a yeah. weird way and like some of the pots were like totally totally like like wired out it was weird it was weird well, I've never seen a break Huntington like that Beach right? Mm-hmm. it might be the, the humidity I, I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. It. Oh, yeah oh damn but it's it's back and I I love it to death. And uh, your pedal board, it, what what do you got on there? What c- can you tell us some of your? Uh, you don't got to talk about everything. Just talk about uh, your favorite pedals that you have on there. Um, my probably my my absolute favorite pedal is the Horizon Devices, uh, the Precision Drive. Yeah. I was really really excited um, when I got it and it completely changed my enti- uh, my entire sound. That's a overdrive or just a it's, boost or what is it? It's like an overdrive with a bit of a noise gate and uh, uh, a little bit of a compressor if i'm not yeah, mistaken. They, yeah they made it for like metal modern metal guitar players but yeah. uh yvette young of of covet she had like a demonstration of uh using in like a clean setting mm. and it was like the best like compressor like i'd ever heard so really? i was like oh dude riley like you got to check this out i had one on my board too but can oh uh, which rocks one it better which one is that can you... it's uh, it's this one right here i don't know if oh you okay okay board, i could see it yeah, I could see it, yeah. yeah. damn um, interesting probably that one and the julia and what's the Julia? The Julia is a, a chorus pedal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, from okay. Walrus Audio. Yeah. I Those two are my entire sound, essentially. A lot of people have that Julia, so by assumption, yeah. is it, it's reliable and it sounds great. Uh, uh, you, yeah. you, got, you guys got great tones, man. Like uh, It's all Derek. All Jesus. <laughs> Derek's the, yeah, the all pedal Derek and all wizard. Jesus. Jeez, for real. And, um, okay, so, you know, oh, we'll get to you in a bit, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't wait to talk about it. Um, and Derek? Yeah. Yeah, so w- what are you uh, working with? I can't uh, see the headstock because I... Oh, it's a, it's a Fender Mustang. Oh, uh, yeah. 20, 2019. gorgeous, man. Um, it originally had, like, a black pick guard, so I swapped the pick guard out, um, got put P90s in it, changed out the pots. There's uh, a bunch of stuff done to it. I just recently, like, redid a, redid a Jazzmaster, like, a full pink. It has, like, kill switches and everything. Okay. In it, but it's... 
it just broke recently so yeah, i had yeah. to send it to jesus vintage gear he's like, <laughs> um, send it for him in no, for america for real for real dude uh, that thing yeah, looking like an iced coffee bro that I thing looks so thing. good I love, it's short too so it's like don't oh gotta, yeah don't gotta go too far yeah. for anything how many uh frets are you got it's still I, I think it's still 21 or uh 22 mm. it's just um it's 23.75 yeah. scale length instead of like the traditional like yeah yeah, yeah no i could tell it's really short for sure yeah, it's, it's 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 fun it's fun doesn't like drop d too much but i don't <laughs> go too far don't go too heavy you know it, i know what about your uh, pedal board what which uh oh, some of your yeah. favorite pedals on there uh my probably my all-time favorite like my si- like not my signature sound but like the one i use the most is uh the oceans 11 mm. there's like a like a shimmer setting on there that's yeah. just elite like i've tested so many different shimmer only pedals and mm-hmm. they don't do like the same thing as that one you're using that a lot for your uh, lead tones right that's for like the synth stuff so uh when he's like playing his aerophone and not yeah. the keyboard yeah, yeah i'm usually filling in that like key uh, cause I, I noticed that like you um once he like hit a solo or something yeah. that's what i meant by lead tones yeah I, but you you had it better um yeah you kind of went into this really strange uh but very complimenting tone yeah i was like damn what the fuck is going on over there dude <laughs> um that's that's dope it's one of my um, favorites for you sure. you have any other favorites on there yeah you got uh, a lot of uh, vent, uh my, it's my second favorite one right here is uh the riasuke i'm sorry if i butcher that name sean my bad um the domino it's like a triple stage overdrive where the far right's a boost the middle's a fuzz and the and the far left is an overdrive yeah uh the guitar player of last dinosaur is he like builds pedals out of his house when he's not touring so oh. i like hit up his line on ig and i was like oh my god like i i need this pedal bro yeah. so hey I, I got in contact with him and he shipped it out to me and it's just oh man i'm, I'm in love with it so those two for sure okay sick uh yeah you got a tiny um wall pedal on there yeah pedal it's okay. the best You're, you got a nice cute neat pedal board thank man. you i thank appreciate you. it man. try to keep it cute you do too bro like you <laughs> don't worry like I'm, in I'm, progress yeah <laughs> i used to you know dabble in pedals and all oh, that sweet. and if you guys watch the show you know i got a helix lt i talk about it non-stop the best dude mm. yeah i know dude I, and I'm, i've been <laughs> they're, they're i've been playing with it lately dude i want to talk about it but <sighs> no, cool. i'll shut up cool. Cool. um <laughs> all right cool We'll come back to you, uh, right. dude. So you got a you got a, um the DW drum set. Yes, sir. Um, forget forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. R- Ramon. Yes, sir. Ramon. All right. So we were talking about this outside. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The last person that we remembered to bring a DW drum set. Shout out Francis from yes, the Faye. Oh yeah, the goat. Sounded amazing, and we were kind of like, all right, like that was cool. That was cool. Like a DW. We haven't heard one before in here. Maybe we have. Maybe they didn't get tuned right or something. But you brought a second one in here, and now we're like convinced that DW is the fucking way, dude. Yeah. That shit sounds amazing, and you got your little custom made. That's a giant porthole right there. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely on purpose. Still sounds good though. <laughs> Um, and do you know what like a uh, model that is? Uh, I think this one's a performance series. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like the, um, it's funny cause it's still an expensive kit, but it's like the budget version of the DW like kits. Yeah. yeah. But it's, yeah, it's a little bit more on the budget side. And, um, the sizes, I, I noticed that they, they don't like, um, they, they don't really vary much. Like they're not, they don't look like too different. Like, all right, like you have your your mm-hmm. high tom but it's not that much smaller than your no. mid tom which yeah, isn't so, that much uh this one's a 10 this one's a 12 this is a 14 okay and the bass room is actually a 20. oh yeah. okay, okay it's okay, a okay. smaller bass room so. and that snare is uh, 14. 14, yeah, 14 by 7 6? Uh, something like that i don't know what the depth is dude it sounds nice nice and tight mm-hmm. i like your snare sound a lot oh yeah um crank it and you got a really uh like your ghost notes and stuff like they're really clear Shout out to uh, Victor, the wizard behind the curtain. Hey. Goka coined that term, by the way. She was like, yeah, that's a wizard behind the curtain. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they um, I say Coca like it's just her. Uh, was Edith, I think her name was. Was it Edith? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, shout out to him for the mic placement because he, he actually, oh, yeah, oh shit, your high tom. I'm not going to just say your high tom oh, is like all fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, my bad. Hopefully it wasn't like that really. No, 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 hopefully. Well, whatever. Right, um, yeah. I'll make it sound good. And uh. I think it. I think your snare sounded really great, dude. Like honestly, I was like, damn. Like, and then you, um, you uh, like through your breakdowns and you, like, you, I'm doing a terrible impression of it right now. But yeah, you're going like from you know, low to louder. I was like, oh damn, that's fucking sick. Um, but yeah, cool. I'm ready to talk about your aero aerophone. Aerophone, dude. Strange instrument. Um, 
I never seen one before. I I never thought doing this show I'd ever have to run sound for one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So thank you for bringing it because like course. it was a it was a experience listening to it. Um. Talk about it. What where'd you get that? How'd you learn to learn about that? Where'd you find it? You know. Um. So I played I played saxophone since I was like really really young. Like that was my introduction to music. Okay. I found singing like five ish years later um and started focusing on that but like saxophone's always kind of been around for me so i was like i think it was like on instagram during the quarantine and i got a mm. roland dad because uh, roland makes these oh and it was just like a dude playing a saxophone but it was all electronic i'm like that's sweet i want one of those so yeah. i just literally tapped on it went to Sweetwater. i ordered one and uh i didn't do much with it for a while but once we kind of like set our current lineup here i was yeah. like oh i should try and see how it sounds with some of these songs like yeah especially the less like like hard rocky that we're going we're now like more a little bit like mellower vibier and i feel like the sax fits a lot more with like the current sound that we're going for and everything yeah the first practice with it we were like yo <laughs> damn yo. man that shit sounds amazing i love you guys sound like i'm really happy you guys are here the music you play Thank it's you. amazing Thank i you. think um and I don't know how long ago I followed you, but I, I, I could have swore I thought I was going to hear like more rock music and you guys came in and it sounded more like, I don't want to say jazzy, but like it, it did sound more ah, just very interesting, interesting in a really yeah. good way. And I was just like, holy shit. Like I thought, I was, like, again, I was, I was, um, I don't know why I thought you were going to sound different. You guys sounded amazing today. <laughs> um, you. but, uh, yeah. So, okay. How much did that thing cost? Um, I believe this one was like in the seven hundred dollar range. Jesus Christ, it's dude. got that's um, a huge risk. Like a little brother and an older brother. Yeah. Um, the mini one I think is more like five hundred dollars, and then the like pro, which is the the older brother one, I think that's like eleven hundred. Mm. So I'd love to go to the pro someday, but yeah, am I tripping? <laughs> or, or did they have like a commercial where they're like a, just like a guy playing it on his in, on an airplane, like in his seat or something? Or is that a different instrument? As far as a different instrument, like it could, uh, it could be. Oh, it also could be an Ewe because there's like a, a similar instrument. Oh, to this. okay, that's, that's probably what I see. Electronic wind instrument. Yeah, and it's honestly I don't know as much about that one as I do about the Aerophone, but I've heard that similar, but definitely not the same thing. And um, you get like obviously a different instruments on there. Like I'm pretty sure you can sound like a flute or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's got a like, you know, not anything that you'd want, but a yeah. good like, especially wind instrument wise, like. I can do trumpet, flute, clarinet, oh, all the saxophones. Yeah, yeah. anything with wind, pretty exactly. much. Exactly. They've it, got some weird stuff like, like doo wop sounds and yeah, stuff that's like so that. Funny. There's some, there's some funny stuff on there too. But mostly, yeah, a bunch of wind instruments and like, there's even some strings on there, which is pretty cool too. I'm sorry, audience. We're gonna talk about this a lot because I'm, I'm a geek when it comes <laughs> to things like this. Um, what, what, and so when you're playing live, what do you play that out of? What is it? Does it come out of like you just go into PA or? Most of the time, I'm going, I'm going into the PA. I have a mm. little, um, like I have handheld monitor that I kind yeah. of put at my feet. Yeah. And uh, I play synths when we play live. We didn't have any synth songs in the set list, so yeah, I didn't yeah. bring it with me. But normally, I'll have like the monitor at my feet. Mm -hmm. I'll plug both my my synth and my Aerophone into that, and then oh. it has just an out straight into the uh, into the PA, and that's how I'll play most of the time okay and um this is a weird question but do you gotta clean it or anything like you would a regular sort of the top just kind of comes off it's probably got a little bit yeah oh, oh no you don't have to do that I'm you so don't have sorry. to do that we'll cut that out <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking it comes now, off but. it's uh it's just wiping that down really. yeah of that's course it. no yeah. I, I used to play clarinet oh okay sweet, yeah. Sweet, sweet, yeah that's so why you don't got like, the whole like you oh, gotta pull fuck, it through or anything like that dude, but it's man. just the yeah, it's wipe some, off the top before you put it in you're good yeah, to go maybe some clean some kids didn't clean it out and you just like they start playing start smelling like yo yeah. someone not brush <laughs> why your is teeth? this thing green yeah oh dude that's i played a i played a school instrument when i was in middle school and i was like yeah it's like or like you're like you're playing one and they're sticky and you don't know why they're sticky and then later you're like oh Oh, shit, the whole time it was like people's... Ugh. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll bleep all that out, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm glad we went through everybody and talked about all your favorite instruments. Uh, you have a tambourine. I, I don't... Hey. It, Tambourine's hard work. It, it really the is. Underdog. We just had no kazoo songs in the set, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, you... The kazoo? Wait, what? Oh, no, we're just, we're oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, okay. I went over my head. Um, 
uh, can we talk about like uh, some of your guys' favorite shows and least favorite shows? Um, we'll start off with your favorite. What, what do you guys think that was as a group? Oh, I'd man. say we OC played Fair the OC Fair. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, was that yeah. recent? Yeah, we played this, this summer. Last summer yeah. Oh, really okay. Cool. That was sick. Oh, that's a big ass stage. That right? was huge. Damn. The biggest stage we've been on for sure. That was sick, and the sound oh. was great. All of our friends and family were there. It was really sweet. Yeah, it was and with six one. of you guys, you guys had enough room up there. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a big challenge. What was your favorite thing about that show? Besides, like, I mean, family there, that's great and stuff like that. But um, did you guys, was it the audio? I think, like, yeah. nostalgia-wise for me personally. Like, yeah, I grew same. up go- going to the fair. Oh, that's and, like, right. Same. I used to work there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Damn, yeah. it's crazy. What, you, you like, working there again, but this time being yeah, paid yeah, to be on there, the drums. Yeah. And well, I don't know. It was really nice, paid. too. Like, the sound people, the staff. Yeah, they treated everybody was really well so well yeah. everything. It was, it was really cool. Yeah, I'm I'm just going to assume they paid you guys. Yeah. Okay, okay. You don't got to talk about how much or whatever. <laughs> I don't I mean, you know. <laughs> they, they were um, kind. They were kind. But usually when you, like, uh, I've been playing with a band, and we get paid here and there. And yeah. when you get paid, you, you get to, like, a different level where it's, like, people are just professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not playing in dirty bars, and they're not pushing you an hour. It's, like... You better start on time. Don't show up late. Don't be a dickhead. Um, have a couple drinks, but like, don't act a fool. You know. Yeah, hundred um, percent. So that must have been dope. Like experience, really like cool. finally yeah. dealing with like professionals, right? Oh, hundred um, percent. What about your least favorite show? You don't gotta like name names if you don't want to. We'll bleep them, or you can. We will bleep them out Honestly, if you really it, want to. It's not the like one a, we didn't play. Yeah. <laughs> In my opinion, for me, it was Blue Beat. Oh, uh, oh, that's a deep cut. I'll I'll give you that one. That's before Sophia, too. It was way before Sophia. Yes, aka before Sophia. I think our second (laughs) show ever, and it was Derek was out of town before Sophia was with us, and we went on stage and... My mom, my mom was there, like one of the only people in the audience. She says her oh. favorite show, but she had a lot to so drink funny. too. So you know, yeah. <laughs> her favorite show was the one I wasn't at. Um, but it, I mean, it was it was fine, but it was, it was just hard. a it was a stressful show and not having the full band. And yeah. I was playing a cajon. I wasn't even playing a drum set. That too. Oh, yeah. dude, I was hey. like, hey. time in like Phoenix. Phoenix. You venue, you, like you so venues, and you you organizers, stop it with the. Can you play an acoustic set? No. Like, <laughs> That's like Real. dude, no, I hate that shit. I got once asked to play the cajon. I was like, man, hey, there's have... ways you can make it work. I like turn it around and kick it with the pedal sometimes. Oh shit, you got one. Like I, a snare. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cajon captain. <laughs> oh, you're like, what do you mean? The cajon setup is nah, crazy. I, I don't. Yeah, it is crazy, dude. Like, and it never sounds the same. Like, no, it doesn't. It's, it's, it doesn't. It's no, that no, doesn't no. like give the best version of you guys. Um, which is, you know, I think I we were talking about it earlier. Like I, I made uh, making every band bring their whole drum set because I want you guys to sound like you. You know, like I'm not gonna tell you to bring a cajon and be like, well, give me like a watered down version of you guys. Like, <laughs> nah, man, I want the full, you know, the full Lunar Riptide. Um, how'd you guys come up with Lunar Riptide, the name of the band? Oh, this is a fun one. So when me and Cole were first starting the band, we were like walking along these train tracks. We were like 14. 15 out way later than we should have like brainstorming this band and like this fake ep with songs like you know like (laughs) imagining it before we even had something to offer and we're like let's call it the polar light project and we're like that sounds sweet so he was like i'm gonna go talk to my cousin about it who's like really into the the kind of music we're trying to play and see if it's like a band she'd listen to and he comes back to me the next day like what what did she think what did she think and he's like she thinks it sucks and i was (laughs) like oh man all right all right so we like went back to the drawing board and um, we we were jamming with this other guy at the time. Uh, his name's Sam Pruitt. Shout out Sammy Ooh, P. Shout, shout out to Sam. Sam. Uh, to Sam. We went to a show in L.A. and uh, there's this band called the Seagulls, and they had this really cool surf punk song called Riptide. Yeah. And I was like, dude, like that's super sick. Like we gotta make that work with something. So that's where it kind of stemmed from. And then he came up I with the, the lunar. Side. I was like, I want it to be something with the moon. I like yeah. that idea. And so it just kind of mashed them together and that was how it it was dope what, what do they call a lunar riptide isn't that like when the water like comes up the, the like high, high tide, tide? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it works yeah. at least like it makes sense kind yeah. of yeah no that's Just throwing cool. words together and it yeah. worked but it, it's cool it made me think a lunar, uh, I, I mean it sounded cool if just the name but then like like lunar riptide it rolls off the tongue you know I'm big on that like mm. um I say I say I, mean, I talk about this band a lot, Tame Impala, but like it just oh, rolls, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, like totally. Integra Pink. Integra I've, I've always Pink. Said they have they have a dope ass name. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. So Shout cool. out. Yeah. Damn, I'm trying to think. I like Coca too. 
Yeah. Uh, that that was cool. a cool name because it's simple yeah, and no, you know. Um, but Lunar Riptide rocks. It rips. Like Thank it's you. it's, Thank it's, it's yeah, fucking yeah. sick. <laughs> um, you guys got any uh, shows coming up? Yeah, the nineteenth. Uh, it's at the House of Blues in Anaheim in the Foundation Room. We love playing there because that's across the street and very close to some of our jobs. So. It's uh, we get a lot of people out to come and hang out with us, and that lineup is like some of our homies, yes, and uh, we're gonna be friends. DJing all night too. It's 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 like a homie fest more than the show, but we're we're excited. We'll put all the information here. So the nineteenth, do you have any other shows besides uh, that? One on the twenty sixth at Plantitas in Long Beach, and oh, yeah, yeah. on the thirtieth we're gonna I E. We're gonna Ooh. UCR the barn, the barn. Ooh. with our yeah. homies Snare Noise. I gotta check out that venue. Oh, it's on on Wednesday that. too. Right? That one's, yeah, that one's on Wednesday. I do believe Wednesday. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I might be able to make that one. That one's right going to be cool. Halloween. Sick. Spooky. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn. Well, um, um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we go? No, thanks for having us, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, like, we've really been hearing nothing but great things about coming here yeah, and playing super, here. Super Who'd you hear that from? Uh, Who like, all the IP guys. Like, they had their, like, oh, sick, nothing yeah. but positive things to say. 100%. And that Hello Bloom guys. Oh, yeah. yeah and um, Aiden. by Bloom. And Aiden. Aiden? From, uh, from the, the face, he was from also playing with uh, Weatherby, Weatherby, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's the oh yeah, he didn't sick, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's, a, yeah. he's the jack of all Love trades, Aiden. man. He's for doing real. Everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Well, thank you guys, man. Um. Thank, thank you guys you. for applying. I, I, I fucking appreciate it, man. I, again, I feel like I got a life hack. Uh, me and Jesse <laughs> and Vic, we get to enjoy shows from the comfort of the studio. Yeah. Damn. And we don't, you know, not saying we wouldn't want to go check you out. We trust me, we would. But like, <laughs> and we I'm appreciate book, the comfortable vibe. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. Um. And yeah, I, I can't say enough. I love the music. I know when Jesse says like, "Yo, that shit was fucking sick." Uh. Hey. Yeah. Hey, like I know when he's impressed, bro. <laughs> I hey, I shit. need to really hey, be impressed. <laughs> um. But man, thank you guys so much for playing such an awesome set tonight. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming all the way from orange county i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i really do like you guys are fucking sick thank you i know you guys you know put a lot of effort into your music um and it, it really shows and i can't say enough about these guys y'all better go check them out thank you guys at home for watching and listening please make sure to follow like and subscribe go check out lunar riptide at a show near you special thanks to our crew to make this all happen jesse chaos behind the camera and victor michelle over on camera mixer again thanks to everyone for tuning in have a good night goodbye